Hey guys, what's up? My name is Perez and welcome to another episode of NHLB Pro. Tonight we're going to face off against the Montreal Canadiens. Now, I tried to record an episode yesterday, uh, but I could not get it to record properly. Like the 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 audio the audio quality was bad, like the, the picture was bad, like the coloring was bad and everything. Um, so, but anyways, we won that game against Nashville. If you guys actually want to see that game as like a bonus episode, let me know in the comments below. I mean, no, we, fa we faced the Florida Panthers and we lost. So if you guys want to see that episode, like a bonus episode, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely upload that. Uh, I'll try to fix like the audio and the coloring issues. But today we're going to face off against the Montreal Canadiens. I'll see you guys when we get on the ice. All right, guys, so we're going to get started here in Montreal, Quebec. And uh, we're going to take the face off. We're going to win the face off. And hopefully we get actually a really good start. Um, the Nashville game wasn't really a good game for me, actually. It's actually a pretty bad game for me. Um, that whole like video was just really bad of, for me to record, and like it was just pretty bad. It was pretty bad. So if you guys actually want to see that, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to actually upload it for you guys. Um, but anyways, make sure you guys use the hashtag Potato Suffer in the comments below if you want a chance to win uh, either a PlayStation or Xbox Live gift card for twenty dollars, and. Um, I'll be doing that giveaway every single month. At the end of every single month, there will be a giveaway for you guys to actually enter. And uh, the more the more times you put it in every single video that I uploaded during the month, the more chances of you actually winning. Um, so, so if you if you put on every single video that I uploaded in January, you guys have a better chance of winning at the end of January. Um, so you guys have a better chance of winning. So that's what I'm saying. So. If, in February, if you begin in February 1st, as I'm uploading in February, you keep on using the hashtag potato suffer in each video that I upload in February. It gives you a better chance at the end of February to actually win that giveaway. All right, guys, so we're back in the ice. We're on the power play, the last 30 seconds of the power play here. Let's see if we can get at least a goal or an assist. Ooh, the edge work. Boom. Edge work. Oh, there we go. That's a nice play. That was a nice play. Smash into the goalie. Why not? We've got 13 seconds left in this power play. And 13 and 32 seconds. 13 minutes and 32 seconds left in the period. I actually really wanted to do like an alternate series in NHL Be a Pro. Like something really, really different. Like like change all the settings to... Because um, you can go actually go into the settings and you can actually change like the pass speed. Like the way the game moves and all that stuff. And like... The game of the speed, like speed of the game, and like how everybody moves, they can move like super quickly or move super fast. I really want to do like a video on that. I want to see how that actually goes and see how that actually uh, plays out in this game. And pass it out so we can go on the bench because we need to rest. So let me know in the comments below how like the coloring actually looks, like the color of the video looks. If it looks dull, um, then I have to change the way I have been editing go to a different software that can change the color properly and I don't have to like fiddle around with every single little scene because in like a Final Cut Pro you can't really just color match like the whole video because every everything looks different in every single scene like the menu looks different from the game and like it would be kind of hard to color correct that it's not hard it would just take a lot of time to color correct that and I don't have that time to actually do that so Oh, that was a nice, that was a nice play right there. I was getting covered by two defensemen, or two, two people, or two players, and I passed right through him to James Van Riemsdyk. He's actually the captain of the Leafs in this game, not in real life though. In this game, he is the actual captain, which I'm, I was kind of, for, uh, I was kind of fighting for captaincy of this team, um, but EA brought an update out, of course. And changed it completely. But like I was saying before, in Final Cut, you can't really color correct a whole entire video at once. You have to do it like individual scenes. Um, but in Premiere Pro, there's actually a thing called auto coloring. Auto color, auto contrast, and auto levels. Where it evens out pretty much everything and makes it look a lot better than it did. I, I tested it out on like some 4s of 3 um, gameplay. Forza Horizon 3 gameplay, and um, it definitely looks 10 times better um, 
than me just color correcting in Final Cut. Um, so I might have to switch back to Premiere Pro. I didn't want to switch back because Premiere Pro literally takes hours to export one of my videos in in, uh, in NHLB Pro and to upload a video every single day waiting six seven hours for, for the video to export that's way too long that is way too long to wait to wait six hours compared to like final cut which is like 20 30 minutes all right guys so we are back into the second period if you guys don't know what i'm talking about what i was talking about before it's fine like it's it's completely fine you guys don't know what the hell i'm talking about but if you guys see like a difference between color of my last videos and my videos now let me know in the comments below because i would love to I love getting your guys' feedback, and if I have to change something dramatically like that, and the way it looks, the way the video looks and all that stuff, I have to change that, because to make it look, I want to make my videos look as good as possible of, of any other people on YouTube, obviously. I try to get the highest video quality, I try to get the highest audio quality. Um, it's kind of hard to do all of them, because I don't have a capture card that can export in 4K or... I can't do I can I could probably do 4k gaming 4k video gaming recording but I don't have the box to I don't have the capture card to actually X like capture in 4k and obviously my Xbox one is not 4k and it doesn't do HDR and um, all that stuff so I'll try to do the highest quality for you guys if I can actually do 4k I'll do 4k if I had the chance to actually record gaming in 4k which will probably will be the future will probably will be like next year um, I will probably have to upgrade my capture card to 4k if Elgato comes out with one because I use Elgato game capture HD 60 right now and the Elgato Game Capture 860 HD 60 is the highest, it's the most practical, like, capture card you can get. It's probably the best capture card you can get on the market. And I tried several different capture cards. I tried Hot Podge, I tried every capture card known to man. And I feel like Elgato is the best one. It's more stable. It's it's just better for recording. It's more simple. All that stuff, I highly recommend it if you guys don't have one i if you guys want to start doing youtube especially gaming invest into invest in a elgato game capture hd 60 or even an hd uh or even elgato hd 6 or yeah hd like your older model but if you do have the money i highly recommend you guys upgrade or get the elgato hd 60 this is the one i use um I wish I can get the one that plugs right into the computer, but uh, my computer does not allow that to be just plugged right in. Because um, I have a Mac, I don't have a PC, so I don't have the ability to actually plug it into the PCI slot. So, in all that one does, the more like high quality one, all it does is just instead of recording at like 40 megabytes per second, it records at like 60 or 80 megabytes per second. Forget this one's actually recording at. Um, this one's recording at yeah, 40 meg 40 megabytes per second, which is uh, 18 gigs per hour. So, one video, one hour of video will take it's 18 gigs. So that's it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I don't change any of the settings in my capture card. I keep it pretty much the same. Uh, I keep it pretty much the same. So. If I need to correct something or I need to change something, I can change it in the editing software, which is the best option to do, uh, even when you're trying to color correct. I used to just do default settings with the Elgato and export just like that. Edit, export, that's it. Uh, I used to rely on the Elgato quite a lot, but for some reason, the Elgato game captures got their... Their, um, their colors, like, wrong. I don't know why. It's, it has nothing to do with my. It has nothing to do with my monitor. It has nothing to do. It probably has to do with HDMI. Probably. I probably have to replace all the HDMI cables. Um, but it's probably a broken HDMI cable. I don't know. But um, yeah, there we go. I got another assist. I need to start getting goals. That's what I need to do. I need to start getting gold. All right, guys. So we still have the lead. It's still like one minute left in the second period. We still have tons of time to actually get a goal. 
Let's see if we can actually get one right here. Let's see if we can do a wraparound. Oh, no. Price is not in net, but still, he's still a really good goalie, whoever's in net. No. That was a bad pass. They better not score because of that pass. And they scored because of that pass. Damn it. All right. I need a little bit of the... I need to be a little bit smarter on calling my passes. I thought he would have got it through. I thought he would have got it through. Sometimes it actually does go through. Sometimes it doesn't. It's really a 50-50 draw there, but it kind of sucks that I didn't. So, need to need to play a little bit smarter. Need to play a little bit smarter. We do have Anderson in that, I believe. I believe Anderson's number 30. Yes, okay. Yeah. So, second period done and over with. I'll see you guys in the third period when that starts when I take a little break because I'm going to go get a drink. Alright guys so we're in the third and final period here and uh, this is episode 28. I didn't realize we're coming up to episode 30 already um, but if I actually release the last the last video that I recorded for this like I said if you guys want to see that extra like game uh, let me know and I'll definitely do my best try to make it look better as, as possible. Uh, the commentary the commentary wasn't that good because it's like my first time being recorded after like a week or so that I took off for like Christmas break. Um, but also, you can actually go look at my channel right now. There's actually a new banner, new not a new logo, but I took off the Santa hat and the Santa beard, of course. Um, but oh my God, I was going for that. I was going for that post. But yeah, I changed the banner. I changed all the stuff. I added a little potato guy. I think that's going to be our mascot for our channel now. That little potato. That little potato. Potato suffers. Um, I don't know why I started this. This hashtag potato suffer. Um, I used to say it quite a lot when we, when me and my friends play EA Sports Hockey League, actually. That's where it actually originated from. Um, like I said, like potato suffer means like when you run into the goalie and you just stuff it in. Like, you just put it into the net, or you poke it in. That's what we call potato stuffer. So, we used to do quite a lot of potato stuffers in EASHL, because it's so hard to do anything else when you score. Um, either you can go for the corners, you score about 95% of the time, or you can just run into the goalie about 85% of the time, and they won't, they won't call it goalie interference. So, you can just run into the goalie and score. And we started calling it potato stuffer. Don't know why, but we did. I'm looking at the game right now in the preview. Um, without, like, any... Obviously, there's no color correction. Um, it's just flat, basically. Um, it actually looks pretty good. It actually looks better than... Uh, I did up. I did uh, update my Elgato Game Capture HD software to the newest software. Um, I did have that before, but it had a, little, a lot of, like, audio issues. Like, it wouldn't... Like, my mic work, wouldn't work half the time and all that stuff. That was a call for a bad pass. But I need to get a goal here. I did get a goal. Okay, I did get a goal. Am I trying, am I trying to get a hat trick or something here? I don't know. But I think it's pretty funny that I started hashtag potato stuffer and actually used, like, a potato as our mascot. I don't <laughs> I don't know why, but I, did, I think it's pretty funny. I think it's pretty awesome. We scored again, but I'll see you guys when we get back on the ice. All right, guys, so we're back on the ice. We're getting the double XP for shutting them down, which basically means um, you can score more. Um, yeah, just block their shots, poke check them, all that stuff. So just keep the puck away from them, basically. That's what it is. Oh, come on. I would have got past him. I think he glitched like right in front of me to hit me there. That was weird. All right, we're not going to call for the pass. We're going to be smart. We're going to be smart. We're not taking any penalties. Not do anything like that. We're just going to play smart. And get tied up. Yeah. Defensive recovery. There we go. Oh, he gets slashed in the mouth. Oh, come on. I was calling it. See if we can actually get a rush going. And actually get onto their side so we can get an extra man and probably score there. But anyways, we'll take the penalty. All right, guys, so we're jumping back in the ice with 1 minute and 35 seconds left in the power play. Let's see if we can get away from our guy here so he has a little bit more believing room. But we couldn't get the pass through. So I'm going to shame Weber. 
right there with a nice stop as a defense bin. All right, we take the face off here. We're actually going to tie him up. If you guys don't know how to tie up somebody, you do this and you double tap Y. When you're about to, when the ref is about to drop the puck, you press Y, and then um, you will um, tie him up. So, oh, there we go. There is another assist with James Van Riemsdyk. Me and him were on fire. Like me and him were the top two on our team for goals and assists. So that's his third goal of the night too. So that's his hat trick. That's his hat trick, guys. Six to three against the Montreal Canadiens. All right, guys. So we're jumping back in the ice here. Three minutes left in the third period. It's pretty much the end of Montreal as we know it. Um, but it's actually kind of like almost like almost like uh, Montreal games, anyways. Oh my God! I scored. I scored. Number 40. Oh my god, we're 10 away from our 50th goal, guys. It's not even almost the it's not even like the middle of the year yet. There's our 40th goal right there. I didn't expect to score. I didn't expect to score there. I really didn't. That was weird. But I'll take it. My 40th goal. 10 away from 50, guys. And then 50 more, then we get our hundredth goal. And then Let's see how many goals we can actually get in one in our rookie season. Let's see how many goals we can get in our rookie season after we hit the 50th goal mark. And after we get that achievement, then we'll work up to 100 for our rookie season. I know the most the most goals that a rookie has scored in a year is 70, and that record is held by Timo Solani, which will never be beaten. Never be beaten. Even with the talent that the NHL has right now, that would never be beaten. I know a lot of players think they're going to beat it, but they're not going to beat it. I believe it's 70. I believe it's 70. I can look it up, but um, I think it's 70. Oh my god, that pass actually worked. That was amazing. That was amazing. I'm going to look it up right now. I'm actually going to go on the bench. I'm going to look it up. All right, guys. So I found it. It's the most goals scored, most goals by a rookie. Timo Solani is 76. So let's see if we can actually beat that in our rookie season. Timo Solani is my all-time favorite hockey player, next to obviously Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky is my ultimate, and Timo Solani is underneath them. But anyways, if you guys actually enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. Make sure you guys use the hashtag potato suffer in the comments below for you guys to enter in the giveaway of either a PlayStation or an Xbox Live $20 gift card. Um, but make sure you guys follow me at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Links will be in the description. Make sure you guys go check out my latest video down below. And also make sure you guys check out the playlist for NHL Be A Pro if you guys want to watch from episode 1 to now. But anyways, my name is Prez, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.